Hello everybody, welcome back to channel. My name is Josh and I sell you stuff on eBay. Today is a Wednesday morning. We got two days of orders going out. Everything that sold on, I guess, Monday afternoon, all day Tuesday and Wednesday morning. So the last 48 hours worth of stuff. Um, last two days, the sales has been really good. I've been very happy with them. Oh, it's kind of weird that I, like, I sold them like five or six dollars, the same amount of stuff each day. Today sales, I haven't actually sold, nobody's paid for anything. I've got one buyer, he comes along quite a bit and he buys lots of lots of like CDs, cassettes, comics, and gives them out as part of some sort of like youth ministry. So he's been sending me lots of offers. His offers seem to be on the lower side than what I want to accept, but we can usually work out something that's gonna work good for both of us. So I think he's got like $125 worth of stuff that we've agreed on, I'm working on a few more, and then I'll send him an invoice for combined shipping. I don't have immediate pay turned on on any of my stuff just so like buyers like him and other people are wanting to buy a bunch of stuff which you'll see some lots later today of stuff that I sold to the same buyer they can kind of buy it all and then I can invoice them and we can do that things that way that way they're not having to refund excess shipping after the fact or anything like that and it just makes the process smoother there are still some people that don't pay for things that happens but I have it set up where eBay just automatically cancels them after four days and I don't have to worry about it so, yeah, that's my opinion on should you have immediate pay on? And I say no, because you get a lot more bulk buyers that come in whenever you don't have it on. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what sold, and then I'll show you how to ship something. Although we have lost one item today. I don't know where it is. I'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so we're going to start down here on the floor. This sold to a repeat buyer. They probably sell on Amazon. I'm assuming that's what they do. It is a Wii. I match the Amazon listings for the Wiis whenever I list them. This one's got Wii Sports. It's got the one nunchuck and controller and all the cords. They were also, they had a coupon that I'd sent them. They actually used it. So that was kind of cool to see as well. I can't remember what this sold for. I think it sold for $72 plus shipping if I remember correctly. That's how I've been selling my Wiis is I match an Amazon listing for them. If I have one that's in very good condition. If not, no telling what I'll do. Just bundle it together. But yeah, we got that going out there. I think that's my last working Wii I have. I think I have a Wii or two that is for parts or repair. I think that's my last working Wii. This is a skirt. This was a return. I fixed the skew and I'd put it away properly. And I was able to find it just fine. It's not in one of the bags that I store my clothing in. Like these over here. Because it was a return, I just it in a bin we did things that way now i do have another return that i can't find it's a cd i'm hoping it's at home but it's not where it's supposed to be it, well it's not in the container it was originally in i either didn't give it a new skew or yeah i think it's at my desk though at home so i'm gonna look for it when i get there but yeah we got this one little mew going out this actually put out by avon which kind of surprised me look at that year 2000 avon Little Mew. Not much money there, but pretty cool sale. Here is a book. I believe these are all just like photos from some sort of art competition. Should probably be careful flipping through this, but yeah, pretty cool. Got close to $20 on that, so that was nice. A whole bunch of sewing machine parts. Um, here, I'll do this one first. This is stuff a Euro Pro. Always a great machine. Every time I find any Euro Pro branded stuff, I do really good with their stuff. Not a lot of it out there, and I think that's why it does better. The next four parts, these feet, this pedal, this pedal, and this mower or motor are all going to the same buyer. I think we're like $60 plus shipping all in. Once again, just like usual, they accepted offers or sent me offers or added things to their cart. And then I was able to invoice them with combined shipping for everything. So repeat buyers, because I don't make them pay right away. Some buyers right now are looking for stores that don't make their customers pay right away. Some people just want a couple extra days to pay, and some people want the convenience of buying a lot of things and then paying all at once. Next two parts are going out to another buyer. We got just a little spool holder and something else. These are both off the same machine, whereas that last buyer got parts off of four different machines. I'm pretty sure they were store machines or something. Um, and the last thing we got is two more sewing machine parts, one thread tensioner and another motor. So let's go down to the other storage unit and I'll show you what sold down there. So yeah, Ooh, also I got this cart, picked this up at Harbor Freight the other day. I think with tax, it was like right around $120. Very happy with this. I've been wanting one of these for a while, almost bought a used one off my brother, but 
he decided he wanted to keep his, but got this. My daughter was having a Harry Potter birthday and she wanted a trolley with lots of snacks on it and for somebody to walk around and say, anything from the trolley, dears? So yeah, we did that at her birthday party and now I have the card I wanted. So we got that. Anyways, you guys don't care about that. Let's go down the other storage unit. I'll show you what's sold down there. All right, so here is everything else we got. We got one pair of Asics. These have been listed a while. Size eight and a half wide. Glad to see that will sell. Also, I checked those shoes. Those are not listed. So I'm taking them home to fix that, see what happened there. Pretty sure I had multi-quantity on that and something happened there. So my last pair of Kirkland size eight. Sad to see these go. If you've been watching the channel for a while, I had a ton of these. But yeah, size eight finally sold out. Size 10 was what I had the most of. I had, gosh, I must have picked up a hundred pair of Kirkland's that day. $7 a piece. Last pair finally sold. End of an air. But oh well. One G.I. Joe going out. Not a lot of value there. I used to list these as $4.50. Accepted an offer of three. No longer list them that low. One vintage pen. Same exact story. Used to list these as low as $4.50. No longer do. Accepted an offer of three. Once again, same exact story here. I'm no longer listing stuff at $4.50. Our bottom dollar right now is $7 for these small first class or medium mail items, but I'm thinking about upping that to $10. We shall see. One DVD going out, Kurt and Courtney. And then one CD, Bob Flesher's Old Time Claw Hammer Banjo. Not very many CD sales last two days. Kind of strange. One cassette lot going out. These are all classical. Went through, I think I had like two totes worth of cassettes that were not list, worth selling individually and I lotted them up a couple of weeks ago. And that was part of them that sold. Most of them are kind of stacked over there in that area. And then last but not least is one pair of vintage, I believe these are Wrangler women's jeans. Mm, you can't read the tag there. You'll see it up on the screen. They sold. A very old listing in my stores. You can see that number there. We are now in like, I think around 2,500. So yeah. And that is it today. Oh, there's some stuff at home. There's like four China plates at home. And hopefully we can find that CD. But if not, I'll figure something else out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you at home whenever we're shipping something. All right, guys, real quick, I'm going to show you how I ship out a CD. This one is not in a jewel case. If they're in a jewel case, I had one square of bubble wrap to them, but when they're not in a jewel case, I just throw them in a bubble mailer. I get these from Gyropack, 10% off code down in the description. I think it's like Graph10. There's a link, all that great stuff. But yeah, just do it super fast. Bubble mailer, slap an envelope on it, call it done. That's how I ship out CDs.